I love scaring people, and I love making monsters. Something you created from nothing is now this living, breathing character. And that's quite a, quite a thing. I got into this horror movie, sort of loving monsters and all the rest, as honestly as far back as I can remember. After graduating high school, I worked a number of dead-end jobs, just sort of living paycheck to paycheck in a crummy apartment. Got laid off. At that time, my dad just kind of said, what are you going to do with your life? And, you know, he helped me out. He, he looked into uh, the makeup schools for me, made me realize that it was actually possible to get training. This is the blood cabinet, crime scene blood. We do tons of things at the shop. We design characters, we work with productions and, and try to figure out what it is that they want. I love to try to pack as much backstory into a character as possible. I want there to be a reason for everything I incorporate into something. Something that gives it some history and something that gives it um, functionality. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> Don't listen to people that say you can't make a living drawing monsters in your notebooks because you can. <laughs> There's a different feeling when you're working on your own stuff. I had these pair of werewolf fangs that I had made for myself and I popped them in and I sort of took a picture of me snarling and I started sculpting this design that I kind of was happy with and uh, that was 12 years ago. So I'm finally coming to the end of it. This might sound cheesy but it's like I need, I need to show it the respect to finish it. Almost like it is a real thing at this point because it's so much of me has gone into it to this point that it feels like it's got a little bit of a soul in it. I want to share the gift. I want to share the gift that I got as a kid, that feeling that I got. Um, I'd like to know that I had some, some part in, in giving someone else a little thrill.